The roots of paddle tennis go back more than a century, and thanks to a loyal and dedicated following, the sport is growing here in Metro Atlanta. It's part tennis, part squash, and part racquetball. It's platform tennis, and it is becoming one of the fastest growing sports in Atlanta. Well, this sport's just nonstop. Points, the better you are, the longer the points go, so you'll hit it 50 shots, so you're continuously moving, and then fetching the ball takes about two seconds, and you're off to the next point. Points are won, just like they are in tennis. If the ball hits the ground more than once or goes into the net, the point is over. But unlike tennis, there is a fence you can use, and that is definitely part of the strategy. Yeah, and a lot of the balls are played off the wire, so you have to be good as far as figuring out where that ball is going to end up when someone hits it. It's a very integral part of the game, and it's part of the virtue of it. It's, it adds a whole other dimension beyond tennis, playing the ball off the screen. So you just naturally, in the course of things, take the ball off the screen just as easily as you take it straight off the deck. Quick reflexes are a plus, as you can see right here. Thanks to one of the players wearing one of our Google Glass devices, you get a great sense of the fast-paced action. It is strategic. It's thoughtful. You're always thinking two shots ahead. You're figuring out how eventually you can win the point, as opposed to slamming the ball and winning the point in the moment. And it's, so it's a thinking person's game, and it, it, it just goes on and on until you outthink your opponents to win the point. The court is 30 feet wide, 60 feet long, and all you need is a tennis ball and a racket. This, this is the racket right here. Uh, most of the guys play with something similar to this. Uh, you'll, you'll purchase a racket and probably keep it for three or four years. You don't have to restring it or re-wood it. Well, I'm not sure if that's possible, but what is courts available to the public in the very near future. It, it did start in country clubs and now we've moved it beyond to places like Windward Lake Club and Lifetime Athletic in Norcross, the old racket club of the South venue. Each has two courts. We're trying now to take it even beyond into the public park domain so we're working on several projects to put courts into public parks. One of the most prestigious events in the sport is this weekend's Peachtree Invitational. The Invitational has 128 players from a dozen states, and it begins Friday. The women's final set for 5.30, with the men's final happening at 10.30 Sunday morning. All the matches are at the Cherokee Town & Country Club in Buckhead.